Now, sometimes we get weird requests. People will ask us to do things that we maybe don't normally do. Today is one of those times, and let me show you what we're working on. So today, somebody brought in two Renogy lithium batteries. They've obviously seen better days. This particular one is about four years old, and it's showing no voltage, no power whatsoever. And uh, what I did is I took a heat gun on it like this, went around the edges, softened up the glue, and actually I was able to jam a chisel like this guy in, uh, in the seams, and it started to pop the top off without destroying it too bad. And uh, what I ended up doing, or the goal is, the goal here is we're trying to jump it. Uh, I think this particular customer, something happened and it went all the way dead and it won't come back up. So uh, that's what I'm trying to do here today is get that on there. And then I, uh, that's the voltage that it is currently reading, 0.4. So went on the positive post there and in there I put the other side on one of the negative MOSFETs there. And that is then connected directly to the battery cells. So then what I think all we gotta do is, we're just going to dial this up here a little bit. And we're just gonna see if we can get this thing to recover. And then if that works on this one, we've got another one to do. And hopefully that works out for him. It didn't take too long. As you can see, the voltage is rising as we're applying five amps to it. Let's, uh, we can quickly see if, uh, let's just make sure, yeah. We can quickly see if we're actually getting anywhere if we reduce the voltage down. Yep, see I cranked it all the way down to nothing. And the voltage is dropping. No, oh, starting to stabilize a little bit, no, well. There's definitely potential there. So let's keep it going. Let's maybe even crank up the amps here a little bit. We'll give it 10 amps, that'll be fine. We'll do that for a little bit and see what happens. Hopefully, if we can get it up close to 11 or 12, or actually somewhere around 10 or 11, the BMS in here should, should turn back on again, and then we can charge it normally and let the BMS do all its things that it's supposed to do. So a little update on this Renogy battery repair thing that we were doing. Uh, I actually stopped recording anything because I didn't think it was gonna go anywhere. <laughs> and once you know it, a lot of times when you think all hope is lost and you just try something, something works. And uh, let me show you what, uh, what, what's transpired in the last couple of days. So I'm not for sure if it's going to work on this one. This customer gave me two batteries to try and revive. And I think I've got one going. And so I decided to tear into this one, see if I can get, it, get that going as well. Let's go uh, take a look here. So I got it charging on the test stand here. And what I ended up doing was... So I had to jump it by plugging into the positive here. I'll show you that on the other one. But you can't go to the negative. I was getting no volts at the negative here. So I had to charge uh, right on these MOSFETs here. I just put the, put the uh, little alligator clamp on there and charged at about 10 amps until the voltage came up. But uh, it's still nothing was happening. So what I ended up doing was I unplugged the balance leads here and the first time I did that, I just unplugged it and plugged it back in. I did that with a JBD BMS on an SOK battery once and it worked. So the thing that I did different is I just left that unplugged for, I don't know, about an hour or so. I was actually planning on ripping the BMS out and, and uh, putting a new one in. But then it got to me, I was thinking, well, let's just plug it back in and see what happens. So I did that and this was, and I was continuing to charge this. I got it up to about 13 point four volts or so and sure enough i was getting voltage measuring across the the main posts so i uh started charging it properly here 
We're throwing a little bit more amps at it now on the, uh, on the test stand here. We got 20 amps going into it. So what we'll do is continue to charge this guy up and then until it hits 14.6 or somewhere around in there and then do a drawdown to see how much capacity is still in it. This is about a four year old battery. Something else I wanna point out is these Renogy ones, they use these cylindrical cells, which is kind of interesting. They don't use these blue cells, which most batteries use these days. So I'll show you here. This is how I'm trying to recover it. I've got uh, yeah an alligator clip in there. I'm throwing 10 amps at it here. We're up to nine volts. I got the uh, meter on it here. We're actually 8.8 .8 measuring the terminals because there's line loss in these. I actually initially told the customer I didn't think we'd be able to save them. So I just messaged him this morning saying they started working. <laughs> so he may have batteries on order and so the point may be moot, but either way I'll, I'll offer them to him at, you know, basically the time I have into it. I have no problem with that. And then you can keep his hot spares and more capacity, whatever. Um, I like doing stuff like this. It's kind of fun where normally someone just throw them in the garbage or whatever. Uh, just think a little bit differently and you might be able to solve it. All right, a little update. It's been a little bit. We're uh, up to 12.6 or so on that one. We're measuring at the terminals and we get 12.1. Awesome. So this battery is revived. Didn't have to do anything all that crazy with this one. Well, I guess the same as the other one. I just, uh, I guess when reviving a battery, sometimes you gotta leave the balance leads off for a while to really let the BMS fully reset. Awesome. So I think I'm gonna start charging this directly from here just to make sure the balancing is happening and all that sort of stuff from the BMS. Well, a new day dawns. We're still working away on this battery here. And we've had a couple of developments. Uh, there was a moment yesterday where this guy was getting warm and it was discharging on its own or so it felt, but now it's, we may have just been charging it kind of fast. I had this charger on it and that other charger, maybe it's in the video. I, my kids say I repeat myself all the time. I must be getting old. Uh, but what I noticed this morning was I had the voltage up to, uh, 13 point or no, is that 14, two or so. And it was not taking any more amps. And I actually thought that the BMS had disconnected again, but really it was just in high cell disconnect because when I put my meter on it, I still got a reading out of the top terminals. So that's the thing with really the health of any lithium battery is you got to give it time for the cells to balance. Uh, I've kind of got, oh, there it just did it. See the amps went to zero while we were talking there. I just restarted the process. So one of the major issues with this battery bank is the cells are extremely out of balance. The only, I, the only way I can see to possibly balance it faster is, I don't know. I was only pushing an amp into it. So I feel like I just got to give it more time, let the BMS do its job. Or... I mean, I could maybe get out these balance leads, but I can't push much current through it to balance them out. I could put an active balancer on it, I guess. I don't know. I don't want to mess with that too much. Anyway, uh, let's go look over here. And we are actually running a capacity test on this guy because this one was fully charged. And we are at 47 amp hours don't worry about the state of charge that's just I don't know what I have put in there 400 or 200 amp hours but we're what we're looking for is the consumed and yes I put GUI mods on this thing too that's why we're getting this nice battery detail view I'm just running a little space heater here so 
we're just going to keep running that and at the very least we'll get one good battery to the customer possibly oh the the voltage on that's dropping let's take a look at the reading on what it actually says at the battery because it can be off by quite a bit all right got uh, leads jammed into the insulation or the uh, heat shrink tube there and we are actually at 11.98 at the terminals well not at the terminals it i imagine there's not a lot of loss between these it is good sometimes to check that but if there was any loss these would be building heat and they're not hot at all i've actually felt in here there's not really any heat building all the cells in here seem they all feel pretty cool the bms is getting warm a little bit definitely but i mean like if ambient is 70 these are mid 80s it's not bad so actually i would say that voltage is pretty accurate huh now as so these cells are a little bit different than the other ones so maybe they just run at a little bit different nominal voltage i don't know but ultimately the uh Capacity test will tell all, so we'll have to see. All right, so this battery is pretty much depleted. You can see the voltage just dropping. We're not gonna, and there it goes. I think it, it did that a couple of times. I wasn't quite paying attention. And now the solar is starting to bring it back up. Uh, so that'll take a little, take a second for that to boot up. Uh, but yeah, we're at about 47, 50 amp hours, somewhere in there. So this is at half capacity. I'll see if the customer still wants it. I mean, it's, it's definitely worth something. I don't know the exact health of it. Um, tempted to throw this one on as is. See, maybe see where this is at. It hasn't come back. I'm not even sure exactly how good the balancing is on these. I mean, that could be, that could be a big part of it. It could just, uh, the cells could be way out of balance. Actually, let's, uh, let's, let's measure these different, let's measure these right here and see exactly where we're at. No, I wanna measure each one individually. So it's gonna be a little tricky, like I said. Boy, these are, in there a little tougher than the last batch okay so let's go negative to do i get anything there we go 3.64 on the bottom cell let's go to the next one three point three two on the next okay but i gotta really push these in there to get a reading. Here we go, 3.35. So that second cell group is the one that's really low. And 3.27 for the top one. Okay. So the issue with this uh, battery bank is it is just way out of balance. So I'm guessing that the balancing system in these are not good, probably in both of them. So maybe there's a lot more capacity in these. They just need to be balanced. But they are so far out of balance. I feel like it has to be done manually. And oh, it is going to take a long time to balance through those pins. All right, this is what I got rigged up. I don't know that I would necessarily recommend it. Well, let's focus in here. Again, this battery is pretty much garbage anyway. So what I did is I took some hookup wire, gave it a little haircut, soldered the ends to make them stiff. And then uh, we're charging that with half an amp. I may, I don't know, I'm tempted to push that up a little bit and just see if the connections get warm. Because at half an amp, if it's uh, 500 or 50 amp hours off well that's that means it's going to take a hundred hours to balance just one cell one cell group i kicked up the 
amps just a little bit, and it says 3.5, but that's what it's measuring here, or it's actually measuring back there. And there's resistance all along the way. It's probably much lower here. We'll know if if we're getting close when the amps start dropping. But uh, I've been feeling these. I'm not feeling anything as far as heat goes, so I might just keep pushing up the amps within reason, of course. We're up to three amps, and everything still feels cool here, so come on, focus. There we go. So I'm just going to keep rolling with that. And we're in constant voltage mode now, so that means, well, as far as this is concerned, we are uh, in an absorption type phase. So hopefully those amps should drop, but I have a feeling they're just going to sit there for a while because that guy was pretty far out of balance. So um, I don't know that I have a whole lot more to update on here other than you can, you can repair batteries. Just because they're misbehaving doesn't mean you got to throw them out. Uh, open them up. It's not that hard. It's not rocket science.